Denise Schindler will ride into the history books when she cycles competitively wearing an artificial leg made by a 3D printer. The revolutionary limb was designed in the U.S. by the company Autodesk, but the limb was produced in Germany. We are currently testing the 3D printed prosthesis and whether its quality reaches that of the traditional handmade prosthesis. It is not only the material used that is different, it feels different when I cycle due to the quality. But we are on the right path to reach the right stiffness and aerodynamic. Though technologically advanced, the prosthesis is easier to make than traditional artificial limbs. With a 3D printer, a relatively simple scanner, and a cheap laptop, with this software it will be relatively easy to make a prosthesis in similar quality in a fraction of the time with very little know-how. The cyclist lost her lower leg in an accident when she was two years old. Now 30, Schindler recently presented the printed leg at Hanover Messe, one of the largest industry fairs in the world, to President Barack Obama. It was a very interesting experience. I was, of course, also very proud to present the project because it means a lot to me. I was surprised to see how informed the president was about the issue. He was very positive about it. After the stump of Schindler's leg is scanned, a computer program called Fusion 360 designs the prosthesis, which is then made using high-tech print technology. The lighter, stronger, and more natural leg allows Denise Schindler to ride anywhere, including in this summer's Paralympic Games in Rio. Jessica Berman, VOA News.